Need a hose. Doing. What are you doing, baby girl? Let's see, you see this. What's up, Philip? What's up, Josh? What's up, One True Cell? Oh. About to siphon some gasoline. Ha <laughs> ha! fucking back set ain't no joke, boy. You know what I got? I got. Check it out. Hold on. I think I got a wine siphon somewhere. What's up? I uh went horizontal today because somebody was bitching about how terrible the vertical lives are. Thanks, thanks, Gary. Appreciate that. I'm doing good. If I get this fucking siphon out of this bag, I guess there's more than one in here. Two of them. You know, I haven't used one of these wine siphons in a while. Feels kind of weird. Oh, just got done yelling at my kid. He's always talking back. I feel bad, but I can't handle no disrespect, though. You know what I mean? Just can't do it. She was. She's just curling up inside there. Fitting to piss me off. Go! 
slow down in the mash there. I don't even need that. This is fucking stupid. It's really pissing me off. Straight. Straighten. Thing's a piece of shit. And this thing ain't long enough. Fuck it. Call that what I need. Did you see that motherfucker fucking with me? I never know when I'm gonna go live, bro. <laughs> I never know when I'm gonna have to deal with some shit. Yeah, the easy way. Fuck that siphon. And that hose is too short. Gravity and shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta pick that motherfucker up and guesstimate. I'm going to get some sugar. I'll be right back. Oh, shit, I got it right here. Going down on the elevator. If you start getting car sick, my bad, y'all. what they call sour mash right there. back to me. Come back to me, baby girl. I promise I'm not going to go on no more rants. Took down all them live feeds. So I'll play them for a day and then I'll take them down. People out there talking shit about me. I'm not ranting. I guess nobody wants to hear me go on about stupid shit. Sometimes I get drunk. My bad, y'all. <laughs> but we're mashing. Sour mashing. Yeah. 
Yeah, baby. I ran yesterday. I did good yesterday. It wasn't disappointing. A bunch more Indian corn. Turned out good. Yep. You use a little bit of the back set too. <laughs> That's why you're here, Jack. <laughs> hey, I got your box on the porch, man. I, I bought postage today. Them fuckers didn't even charge me right away. They was like, we'll bill you. And I was like, whatever, FedEx. I don't like owing motherfuckers. I'm like, man, just let me pay for it now. I don't know how it works, but it let me print it. It's on the front porch and I scheduled it for tomorrow. I got fucking four packages out there. No, you don't need more yeast. If you don't, here's the deal. You put back set in it, but you let your back set cool down. If you do that, you don't need to ever add more yeast. I mean, if you're in a hurry, you can add more. That's whatever you want. You want it cracked. You want that yeast to be able to penetrate that corn kernel. So cracked works best. That's why I use pig feed because it comes pre-cracked. Most of these dudes don't have the... Uh, see, when I'm sideways, I, where's the fucking camera? I, I feel like I'm, I'm looking over here. I don't know why. I'm, I'm looking directly at myself and whatever, dude. But yeah, you, you want cracked fucking corn. Um, it works better that way. Flaked is good, but that, that flake gets pricey. Can you make that 30% wine from the yeast video? What, what do you mean? I don't know what you're asking. Don't know what you're asking. 30% wine. Horizontal. Yeah, let's flip this bitch. I'm down. Flippy flippy. Oh, it says orientation is locked. Flip your shit back round, motherfucker. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I will. Next time we'll go horizontal again. It's better to chat. You can read the chats. Plus, most people are on their phones watching this shit. What was I doing? I'm going to go get the water hose. I'll be right back. Don't go nowhere, bitch. Daddy's back. These kids out here raking my leaves. <laughs> Dude, my five-year-old is so pissed off. Two days in a row, he's out there just laying on the ground screaming because he's mad because we're getting rid of the leaves. Good to see you, bud. I'll bring y'all back down. Back down again. My bad. Gotta keep my shit plugged in. And uh, I'm not used to this horizontal when I'm live. It's a lot harder to hold the phone. Jackson on my wall. <clears throat> what do you mean a Jackson? <laughs> Hell yeah, that's true.
<clears throat> you guys ain't got a boat paddle yet. You need to get one. You could buy a wood one from like a sporting goods store, or you get this from like a kitchen place. But you're gonna need a boat paddle if you're gonna be a moonshiner. I hope you get to try something I make too. This ain't for this. I use a drill for this usually. I'll show y'all that in a minute. But when you cook, when you're cooking it and you're making it gelatinized, yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's really 10 gallons. Because uh, there's, you know, half the weight. Half the weight in there is corn, you know what I mean? So let's say there's probably about 12 or 13. I'm gonna put about 12, 13 gallons in here. I'm gonna take a reading, see how much more sugar I need. And then I'm gonna stir it up real good first. Take it to the line, you know what I mean? And if you ever got extra mash, I got a bin for extra, extra clear, you know what I mean? Like I got a bin over there in a the corner, you see that one? That's got three, th uh, three different kinds of mash in it. It's, it's extras from three different kinds of corn. So it's gonna be extra special delicious. And I'd say there's about four gallons of it. I get about five or six, I'll just run it in the pony keg you know, get get about a, three quarters to maybe a gallon of fucking good mix. I mean, three kinds of corn. You don't beat that, you know what I mean? Uh, let's mix this bitch up. <laughs> There's plenty to drink around here. You come on by, I'll give you a sip. Where's my drill? My fucking drill. Shit out the way. Let me find my drill, y'all. Drill, drill, drill. That's not it. Here it is. I'm fucking everything up today. My bad, y'all. I need fuck cameraman. Cameraman quit on me.
Damn, son. <laughs> Did I call that shit fucking perfect or what? It's at 1.080 right now. I'm going to get a little more because I want more alcohol out of it. Okay, look at that. That's just a guesstimate. I just threw 20 pounds in there. Build that fucker to the line. Hey, man. Look you there. 1.080. Uh, 1.075. I'm gonna put two, two, three, put a few more pounds in there. I'll be right back. Sugar. <laughs> About lost her, didn't I? There we go. That's good. It's a good reading. Contaminated. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> I hope I get a lacto in it. Fuck it. This ain't wine, y'all. <laughs> You're supposed to do this shit. <laughs> I'm even washing dishes in here. It ain't good moonshine unless you wash dishes in it. This dude right here, Get ready to get nice and toasty warm. Put it right there. Fucking hose go again. Where'd you go, hose? Uh. Right, 
push her back. Big heavy bitch. She'd be ready in about three or four days. Ready to go again. Worst thing about making moonshine is cooking it, gelatinizing it. It takes forever. The best thing about it is you only got to do it once. You can get like eight or nine runs out of it after that. Um, I just ran everything. Like I've ran the last few days. Uh, I normally got about four. I'd like to bring that up to about five or six. Um, every time I buy barrels, they end up gone. Like, man, where's my fucking mash barrel? <laughs> so I'm always waiting to finish something before I can make another something. And But when you got sour mash going, you don't want to just scrap it, even though I am scrapping my bloody butcher. I'm starting over. I'll make a whole new video. Um... Video got fucked up. It didn't come out the way I wanted. It just didn't produce enough alcohol. I don't think we had the gravity up enough. And, you know, I went against my better judgment. Didn't do shit and forgot. You'll have that sometimes, man. Uh, I forget shit every day. I mean, I know, and I'm like, someone asked me something, I won't know how to explain it, but I'll know how to read it and understand it. It's that way about a lot of things in my life, like even computer shit. I'm like, I understand that, but can I explain it well? That's like retelling a story. I can't tell stories worth shit. I've been told jokes, and, and then I got to retell them. I just sound like a fucking idiot. Some people don't, you know, they're not wired that way. Like, I can listen to a song a hundred times and I won't know the words. I'll know how the words sound. I'll be like, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> but the fucking words won't come out of me. I got you, man. Just, just go look that shit back up. You know what I mean? I'm, uh, got to clean this keg out. And then I'm going to make some, uh, banana stuff and then I'm gonna make the corn star I don't know which one's first but I got this video done I just need to edit it and put it up uh, squirrel of squirrels <laughs> I like your name dude I call my son squirrel because he's got ADD just like me he's always like oh squirrel <laughs> I'm like what are you doing squirrel this dude a, a take it two hours to do something that takes 10 seconds what sort of bananas? I'm gonna make a banana cream pie moonshine. I'm gonna take, I got a bunch of bananas on my table getting good and black. You wanna let your bananas get black if you can. But the kids eat half of them, so I gotta go buy more. I think about just hitting them with a torch. Get all them sugars broke loose in them. Um, but I'm gonna take bananas and brown sugar and raisins and white sugar and I'm going to make a mash, and I'm going to take a little bit of amylase, and I'm going to thin it out, break all that banana starch up. I'm going to yeast it. I think I might use two kinds of yeast. I don't know. Ready bananas. Hell yeah. Is that why when you get to school, your shit's all fucking gooshy? And you're like, God damn, Mom. Why you give me a fucking black banana for lunch? <laughs> there weren't too many days like that, but those were good days. Um, <laughs> I'll have to try that. I was thinking like, fuck it. I ain't waiting on them. I'm going to hit them with a torch. I've had some on my table for a week, but they get every day the quantity gets less and less because I got a bunch of little monkeys rolling around. 
Yeah, don't buy flaked corn, man. Just use cracked corn. You know, um, no problem, man. I, if if I helped anybody in any way, I, I, that, that's fucking kudos enough for me. That's, that's why I do it. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I'm going to make a mash out of nanners. And then the secret. When I run it, I'm going to put banana pudding in the thumper. Make a banana cream pie. Maybe a little bit of vanilla flavor. I'm not sure. Banana pudding already has vanilla in it. Enough, I think. I don't know. Maybe some whipped cream. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. But I'm going to make something with bananas because y'all keep asking for it. I'll make y'all some banana cream pie. And hopefully one day you all get to try it. I hope it's good. What's up, frog guy? Hey, man. Uh, I was going to mail, mail you guys out stickers earlier. And the fucking envelopes I got aren't big enough to fit my stickers. So I got to go back to the store and get bigger envelopes. I'm trying to experiment. Um, check it out. I do have these envelopes, right? And... Uh, and if they let me, if this works, I have made root beer moonshine, but not fermenting. I used a bunch of candy and put it in a, in a jar of moonshine and come out root beer. So I'm using one of these. This is, a, this is a like tester. If they take it with a regular stamp, I got a beer koozie and some stickers in here. Um, and I just got a regular stamp on it. Scooby-Doo, see that fucking badass Scooby-Doo stamp? ruh row Reggie! <laughs> Hell yeah. But if they take this, then I'll send you guys beer koozies too. Um, this one's going to uh, Beer Greg. Hell yeah. You need, you need any pointers and going in the direction, let me know. I, I know a bunch of places to get merch. Thanks, man. Only thing I ever made I didn't like, and I, did, I, I don't know if I deleted the video or not, was my pickles. I, I tried a German pickle recipe because I like Hangstenbergs. I'm not talking about the pickle moonshine. I'm talking actually pickling pickles. Those fuckers didn't work out. I thought they would, but after I let them sit a while, they didn't work out. And, and the Captain Crunch wine, it did taste like wine, and it was good for a minute. But then uh, it turned to jello after it sat for a few months. It's... I'm going with Tristan Malia real quick. They gotta check in. All right, buddy. If you ain't got your phone on, you don't be gone forever. Did you plug your phone up? Buy the kids books. Send them to school. <laughs> that fucker can't find his phone. God damn it. But yeah. Um, I found a place to make koozies cheap on Amazon. I get my mugs made on Amazon, my beer uh, cups. Uh, there's a guy on eBay that makes our shirts. Big Easy handles that. Uh, I had this blanket made. I thought it was going to be bigger, and it was like 50 bucks or some shit. Yeah, yeah, it won't, man. It's good stuff. We'll stop your beaver. Hell yeah, we will. This is kind of false advertisement, though. This is a cool hat, though. Uh. Well, somebody asked me earlier if I got a Jackson something hanging. I didn't, I didn't get that. Um, shit. Yeah, man, uh, you know, I originally, y'all there, 
Oh yeah, that is a Jackson guitar. That's a badass dude. I got that at a pawn shop. It uh Jackson Pollock. <laughs> it's it's Indian corn. I just use hose water. Did it come out right out my water hose? It's fine. I used to when I I used to try and go on my way to get spring water and try and make the shit fancy. That, that, that's better if you're making wine. Uh, wine is better if you use, but this is moonshine. Just use fucking hose water. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know all that. I do know it's got, uh, I bought it. That motherfucker was way, the action on it was horrible. It's twang twanging. And I took it to this place called a drinking gourd before they went out of business. And I'd been going in there since I was a kid. I, I know if you're making wine, use spring water. If not, hose water's fine. It's getting distilled. It's just not worth all that money, especially if you're going to make something and you don't know how it's going to turn out. Anymore, I use fucking hose water. I've just gotten lazy with it. If you have access to a spring, by all means. But if you gotta go to the Walmart and buy spring water, yeah, yeah. If you if you let your water, you can do that. <laughs> That's a whole nother step. Just letting that chlorine, that chlorine to come out of that water either way. Um, you know, water's water, check your pH. And if your pH ain't horrible for mash, uh, you'd be all right. I got pH test strips, and don't ask me what pH is perfect because I have to look it up because I don't fucking remember. <laughs> but if you ever get to look at shit up, see what the perfect pH for your mash is. Sometimes you'll be way too low. If you are, put in some baking soda and bring your pH up. Uh, they do make some shit. I think it's called 5.2. That's probably a perfect pH. Uh, well, water will work, brother. You're going to distill it. You know what I mean? Now, will it be a little bit better with spring water? It probably will be. Will it be enough to tell? Probably not. You're distilling the shit. And I do, I do swear by spring water, but here lately, man, I'm, it's just hard in life. Like, I used to only drink spring water. And if I have a choice, I'm going to choose spring water. You know what I mean? But when you're poor as fuck and you're buying a bottle of water, I'm just going to drink it out of the sink and fucking catch cancer like the rest of the world. It will be. It, I mean, spring water is the, it's the top. There's water, there's spring water, and then there's everything fucking else. <laughs> when you drink it, when you use it, spring water is the best. But anymore, I just use fucking all this water. Most of the motherfuckers used to use river water, creek water. Yeah, that, that's probably the worst is because there's nothing in it. There's no minerals. There's no nothing. So whatever's in something else, it takes from that. I read something that said that, like, uh, distilled water is the worst water you could drink because it's anything in it was left behind. So when you drink, if you drank nothing but distilled water for, like, two months, the distilled water you drink would be leaching things out of your system into it Crushed oyster shell, cheesecloth, hang it in your mash. Hell yeah. Yeah, beer companies do use city water. Um, if you got a choice, I mean, you know what I like to use is I got a buddy that's got, he, he's got a cabin on top of a mountain and he has a spring up there. And this spring comes through a cave. Like he has, it's called the water cave. And it's like you walk up and it, this cabin's like in the middle of fucking mountain, two mountains surrounded. It. It's just like, like a, a divot, big field and a cabin. And you walk over to the water cave. That's how they get the water. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you're hard, you're in prison, <laughs> you fucking got to use toilet water. Just scoop the brown shit out. You know what I mean? Yeah, 5.2. They make this shit called 5.2. And if you ever have a pH problem, you could use it. I heard it's good. Uh, I've never used it. 
I have used baking soda uh, before. That works good. Um, just mix it in, test it with a pH strip. If you ever have a halted mash, and then sometimes you'll have a halted mash, it pisses you off, and you're just gonna throw it out and start over. Hence the bloody butcher, I've had enough of it. It's pissing me off. I don't know what the fuck went wrong with it. I mean, it still got liquor, it just didn't get enough. And every once in a while you'll have that. Um, but we was going in two different directions. It was me and another guy, we was going in two different directions. And, and that fucked it up as far as I'm concerned. Um, that's all I'm going to say about that. Uh, I'm going to dump it and I'm going to start over. I do got some shine and it's great shine. It just didn't get me enough output. I, I think we botched the gravity reading or something or didn't put enough sugar in it. Um, we was trying too hard to get fucking full conversion. <laughs> Hell yeah, Moonshiner School. Hell yeah. There you go. Now, I'm just starting over, man. <laughs> Hell yeah. Salt water softening, anything. Yeah. I mean, test the pH of your water that you use. My shit's about right. I think my shit's about five here. Parts per million. Hell yeah, I can't smoke while hunting them deer or smell that shit. Somebody was telling me something about like go out in the woods and smoke every fucking day so the deer get used to it. <laughs> and feed them. Uh, I seen a video or something, man, and I was I just I don't remember where I seen it, but I thought like, God damn, dude, this motherfucker's all about smoking. You can't hang out and just fucking wait and wait until after the hunt and celebrate. What's up, buddy? All right. Ain't no more boo-hooing, buddy. Ain't no more crying. You done with that crybaby stuff? Getting mad over damn leaves? We're going to clean the yard, buddy. We're getting rid of the leaves. What you got all over you? What you been munching on in there? I don't. I've been munching on crackers. <laughs> crackers? <laughs> Cracker eating crackers, huh? Yeah. Me eating crackers. What up? And show him your big head. I got a big head. I got a big head. <laughs> Sheesh. Ah. Hey, you go walk around the yard and see any toys. You pick them up because I'm about to mow. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. I don't want to mow your toys. So you pick them up, all right? <laughs> under napkins <laughs> oh I gotta read that I put them out. shit that's terrible Jack said what's up chunk that rye mash what's I did up? what up what up <laughs> hope it turns out good 43 gallons that's a big that's a big batch man i hope it turns out good i need to make me a couple rise it's uh, all day all right get them toys up buddy no toys where you mow i want all the toys out of the yard come on now okay um <laughs> you check the temp of it What's up, FJ? Check that temp. I know my shit halting, man. I had to put fucking fish tank heaters in it already. It's because even though it's like, it, it'd be 72 degrees out here. <laughs> yeah, we'll get sacrificed to the lawnmower demon. And John Deere, man, I think I fucking shoot something out 100 miles an hour. Um, but the, the floor out here, 
I can't. I'm broke, man. Broke. I don't have a good car. Uh, I hate to travel. <laughs> I will one day, though. I will one day. Um, it sucks because it's perfect temperature for getting drunk. You know what I mean? I wouldn't like the one in the summer where you're sweating uh, outside in the, under the sun all day. But in fall, man, you know, because I'm a big dude. And uh, fall, you get drunk, you just feel great. You don't even need a damn, don't even need a coat. Uh, find an old pallet and put it on top of that, stuff some blankets. What, what do you mean? What are you talking about? <laughs> Wooden pallet. For for what, Stephen? Hell yeah. Oh, to get it off the ground. Oh, I see what you're saying. I'm fucking dumb, man. I was like, what is he talking about? <laughs> uh, yeah, I see that concrete floor, man. It sucked that fucking heat right out. Uh, what I do, I just put a fish tank heater in there. Hell yeah. That's a good idea, though. Um, I need to build a table for my... Uh, <laughs> we'll talk about one. I use Dady a lot. Uh, making moonshine like everybody else. Got one stop at 4.0. Hell yeah. Y you know, I might try that. But I need to build also... I was thinking about building me a table to hold my pony keg. So I could finish my... Cause I need to, I need to have a pony keg over here to finish my uh, my thumper keg uh, attachment, and that's something that's going to be kind of hard is to figure out. I guess people could figure up the pipe part out themselves, but yeah, I need to build some more stuff out of pallets. You know, I might do that though. It might get me a little. Get me a rack area over here to get them up off the ground. That would definitely help with with heat loss. Um, but so far, that fish tank heater works pretty damn good. Plus, I'm lazy. <laughs> I got a lot of other shit going on. I love you, buddy. He's ready to beat me up, wasn't he? He didn't hear me the first time. But, yeah, I'll probably build me a rack. I might... I don't know. I wish I had another fucking building. Because <laughs> everything I want to do in here ain't enough room for, you know? Um, think about next year building a shine shack. What my idea, but whoever thought of that back in the day, it was brilliant. You know, there's bucket warmers too. If you're making wine, I got bucket warmer. Uh, you just put around it, plug it in. Those work good too. But when you're mashing, that fish tank heater brings it up quick, keeps it warm. They do make like carboy blankets, but I hate carboys, dude. I know somebody's gonna get pissed. Like carboys are the best. I fucking hate carboys. Let me plug his phone up. I think I'm gonna have to get me a new iPhone for long. This fucking battery don't last for the shit anymore. <clears throat> I bet, dude. Nobody wants that. You know, why not use a bucket? Why not use a bucket? You know? Everybody was like, the post picture, a car boy on the ground with five gallons of fucking something good in, you know? 
like, I was making wine. And it was, you know, I used gold plums or something crazy. Like, it's expensive shit. Yeah, bucket, 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 fuck it. You know? It's me again. When I get messages a lot, too. Someone wanting to know. Ah, oh, fuck it. Big easy to answer them. Yeah. Plastic all the way, dude. Um. No, I thought my bloody butcher was gonna be great. And it was great. It did taste great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and plus it's not pretty. When you're most of the time at yeast, it looks like someone shit in a bucket, shit in a barrel, you know? It's, it's over here like, ah, I mean, don't get me wrong. It's pretty to us because we, we have a fucking, we love this shit. We live for it. But it's not something people walk by and they're like, ooh, look at that inside there. It looks like somebody puked in a barrel. That's <laughs> what it looks like. And sometimes it smells like that. Sometimes it smells great. Let's try the bloody butcher. Well, this bloody butcher had a, a little lacto infection and it smelled amazing. It smelled great. It just didn't produce any alcohol, but I didn't help it along. Um, hell yeah. <laughs> Puke in a barrel. It didn't um, didn't produce enough. I should have put some tails in it to bring the proof up, and it just pissed me off. It just made me mad. I want going through it again. It's excellent. That's great corn liquor. Yeah, oh yeah, this is this is great. I'm not complaining about I usually do a big bunch of it and get it down to about 90, 80 proof. That's what it's hard. Most people hang out with ain't moonshiners. I don't have many very many moonshiner friends. They don't like corn liquor. And when they do, they don't want to, you know, they're not chasing after it. They're trying to hide it. And they don't like strong shit. It's too strong for them. So I, I usually get about 90, 80, 80 proof. Kraken's the shit, man. I, I love me some spiced rum, dude. <clears throat> I mean, this is excellent. I just didn't get enough out of the batch. Yeah, I can't give your friends 150 proof. <laughs> I did do that to my cousin's husband the other day. <laughs> oh, a couple weeks ago, you come over here. I was like, hey, man, you want to get a little sip of this moonshine? <laughs> and I think I handed him 170. Yeah, I like cracking. I handed him 170, and, and he's like, what are you doing to me, dude? I was like, nothing, man. He's like, nah, I know. So he didn't take a big drink. But it fucking it opened his eyes up. He was like, holy shit. I was like, that's 170, dude. <laughs> shit took a bigger drink. Yeah. It, you know, you won't see too many people doing a whole shot. That's why people take it out of the jar. When you go to the bar, people are like, don't be a pussy. Take a shot. And they give you a big ass shot of something. And you're like, yeah. You ain't gonna do that too many times with moonshine for your ass is on the floor. The rum video, hell yeah. Now, dude, that lacto is fruity as a motherfucker. It smelled so good. I almost hate to dump it and not try again, but I, I don't know. Maybe I'll give it a second look. Hell yeah. 194. Hopefully, 
the fucking mail run soon. I got I got something coming from Sam Page, y'all. And if y'all don't know who Sam Page is, and if you got a TikTok, look up Sam Page. She she's got a laboratory. She she does what we do on laboratory grade shit. And uh I'm a big fan. Like I've never seen her, like she don't show her face. Um She's awesome. I mean, she sent me something in the mail and it's coming. I can't wait for it to get here, dude. I think it's her tea. But yeah, if y'all know who Sam Page is, go look her up. She She's probably going to have... Somebody's probably eventually going to see her and gra grab her up and put her shit in the store. So, like, she uses laboratory-grade stuff. Like She can... She can make alcohol vapor leave at a lower temperature because it's constantly moving. From what I understand, I mean, I, I'm dumb. I could be wrong. But my thinking is it spins constantly, you know what I mean? What's up, Desmond? So it's spinning, so it needs less heat because all that vapor is coming up off the alcohol. And it leaves, goes up, and it's just so such a clean way of distilling. And she, she would know better know how to explain it than me. I, I wish I could hang out with her a couple days. A couple shots. Of, it, damn right. I've always had a, a jar of shine in the freezer. And a spoonful of medicine, baby. And now back in the day, my younger year, I don't do this no more because I can't handle it. My younger years, you know that first day you're sick and you wake up and you're like, you got the flu. And you have that feeling in your head, in your body, and you, you got the fucking flu, and you know you got it. And you knew somebody else had it, and they gave it to you. You're pissed. You're like, God damn it, they gave me the fucking flu. You know, you want to punch them in the head. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, well, what I used to do is uh, that night, I'd get so drunk that I'd wake up the next day. <laughs> Hung over so bad that uh, rotary evaporator. Hell yeah. See? Gary knows better than I do. Uh, but I would like to get into some shit like that. Uh, I'll have to check. If it has a two inch ferrule, it's been a long time since I even looked at that. But, uh, but yeah, when I used to get the flu, man, I, please stop. I'd get the flu and, uh, bro, what's going on? Rotovap. Y'all go now. Go. Get up on out of here. Go. You're making that worse, dude. No, I'm not. What, what do you want? Can we go to the store for my birthday today? Ask your mom, man. Uh, my phone is still messed up. Well, I'll call her in a minute. I'll be done in a minute, dude. We'll, we'll figure that out. I, if I was you, I'd wait till this weekend. You're going to have twice as much money, bro. Try telling them four different times. You don't listen. They don't listen to shit. What was I saying? My bad. I know, I know it's, too, it's dead because you can't find it. You <laughs> can't find it. Cause he's too lazy to look. <laughs> I want to, bro. See, see, now he's doing that to just piss me off. He's going to torture the five-year-old, make him scream. That way, I, I get angry. I, I don't. Well, then go to the house and play, dude. What was I saying? Damn it, Rotovap. <laughs> I hope I hope that package comes today. I want to try. It. I'll try it on video. Um, but if you guys have TikTok, look her up. She's awesome. And I'd like to to get to know how to distill in that manner. It's amazing. I'm ready to take it to the next level. Um, all reality, I'd like to I'd like to have a big old brewery, man. That'd be the shit. Uh, it's everybody's dream, right? To so get to try your, you know, play with stuff every day, all day. 
get paid to do it. Shit. Or be able to market your stuff. That'd be cool. And everyone would call it, stop moonshine. <laughs> They would, they would say it ain't moonshine like they do old Smokey. It's still same fucking thing. Um, most people don't like real moonshine. They just don't know it. They like it because they want to feel like a redneck. And I'm cool with that. I just like getting people drunk. <laughs> oh, I'm nice to them. These kids are spoiled, dude. They're spoiled. But, you know, sometimes they... They, uh, they'll forget about respect and I got to check them, but I'm, I'm a great dad, dude. I cuss at them and yell at them. <laughs> Tasting room. Hell yeah. You see Brandon kit in the wall. I don't know what, what you mean by that milkman. <laughs> Are you talking about Biden? <laughs> I don't know what you mean. I seen him talking to, talking to the Pope on, on TikTok the other day. It was pretty funny. Uh, I have no idea why the fuck he was talking about <laughs> baseball to the Pope, but that was a pretty funny video. Hell yeah. Yeah, man, I, I love my kids. They're all spoiled. I might cuss and yell at them from time to time, but they got it made. These kids don't know what an ass whooping is. They have no idea. They get threatened with it. I never follow through. I never have to. I don't have to. Uh, I just put on my deep voice, you know, boy, <laughs> put on my Hank Hill, <laughs> get after them. And I do cuss. Some people frown upon that. But you know, if you got kids and you don't think they cuss when you ain't around, even if you don't cuss, then you're in the dark. Yeah, they don't know what it was like. I used to get my ass kicked. Uh, my, my biological father never really kicked my ass, so he, he'd always smack me with his hand and I'd fake cry like, no, daddy, no. <laughs> <laughs> and he'd smack me and I'd be thinking like, that ain't shit. <laughs> but I wouldn't say that because, you know, if you tell your parent, like, they ain't whooping you hard enough, they're going to whoop the shit out of you even worse. <laughs> so I'd just fake right, like, no. And then when he was done, I'd be like, the motherfucker can't whoop me, we're the shit. <laughs> and my stepdad would beat me half to death. <laughs> you didn't want him getting after you. Um, and my mom... My mom throw a 90 mile an hour fastball with belt, dude. Hell yeah, but you had it, had it strict. My parents weren't real strict. I just didn't do well in school at all. Um, I just, when I went to school, but you know, partially their fault. I never spent more than six months in one fucking school before we move and move again, and move again. And when you go to a new school halfway through the year, you gotta show your ass or fight. Them are your two options. Hell yeah. It wasn't my favorite, but it turned out all right. Um, if I could go back, I probably would have used some strawberry jam or something. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, jam. Let's talk about jam and jelly. If there ain't no like sucralose or not sucralose yes you don't want sucralose um if there ain't no fucking sodium benzo or sodium uh or potassium sorbate and, the, and you read the label and it's mostly just good stuff jellies are good to get flavoring out of dude um good Jellies are great. I'm going to use a lot of jellies in future videos. I used a blueberry, but make sure you taste the jelly or the jam. Hell yeah. Who you want to fuck me up my sister? Like, my sister was a little throwed, bro. Like, she hated me. 
and she was older, you know, so she got away with, plus she was a girl, and they let her do anything she want, and they beat the shit out of me for doing the same thing. I'm not complaining. I needed my ass kicked. Uh, I, I've seen somebody do it, and because they did it, I didn't want to go and, you know, be like them, but I've seen somebody using that syrup, and, and they said it was great. Yeah, natural jam. <clears throat> but uh, make sure you try the jam and you like it first. But yeah, my sister, she, she, she had this game she'd play where I'm going to punch you, and then when you get mad and come back, I'm going to yell, Mom! <laughs> and then you're going to get in trouble. And I'm going to get away with punching you. And she'd do that constantly. And I didn't even care. I was like, I don't care if I get my ass whooped at this point. She hit me, so I... I hit her back, <laughs> and uh, and I was a little kid, you know. Yeah, you don't hit girls, but when you got a six foot tall sister beating the shit out of you every day, you, you gotta eventually fight back, dude. <laughs> but uh, she yelled, "Mom!" and I was like, "I don't give a fuck!" <laughs> and I hit her, and then she got mad. And she picked up these coasters, dude, off the table. There were three of them, and that bitch could throw like <laughs> she could throw fastball too, boy. And they were big, thick. They were like, they weren't glass, but they were like, I, I don't know what they were. And she was like, wow, 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 through them fuckers like ninja stars. Bah, bah, bah. And I was like, oh, and I was going to go after her. And then my mom come in the room and started kicking my ass. <laughs> that's, that's, that's why I moved the fuck out real quick. I was like, I'm out of here, man. We had a split home. like, So I moved in with my dad and shit to get the fuck away from that. I love my family. I love my sister to death, but I don't like living with her. I never use corn syrup, even though we've been talking about it for a long time. Someone new to this, when should I think about adding a thumper to my setup? What's up, dog slobber? Thumper, uh, thumper's great when you want to infuse flavor. I really like running on a keg and then a pony keg thumper. I think that turns out great. Every time I've done it, it's turned out great. Yeah, I had ADHD too, man. It's fucking horrible. I still got it, but I control it a lot better than I did, you know? But, you know, when you're an adult, you're focusing on shit you want to focus on. Or you're, you're kicking your own ass, like, come on now, we got to get this over with. And then you could focus on all this other shit. Uh, but, yeah, thumpers are great. You, uh, when you, when you feel you want to do it, you know, that's when you, it's the right time. Thumpers are awesome. You're infusing flavors. Uh, I think a lot of flavors get thrown out or they get overlooked because the heat of things a lot of times so but a one thumper get up is badass dude that's my ideal get up uh yeah uh, well, you could use it two different ways you could bring up your proof you know what's up new hampshire My bad, y'all. Hell yeah, I was the same way, man. I got straight S till they was like, we're gonna put him in dumb classes, and then they'd give me a test and I'd ace it. Light on is the best. <laughs> Hell yeah. But uh, thumpers are great, dude. So, say, say, for example, you're making a blueberry brandy or any fruit. A lot of that flavor is going to get lost from the mash. You put some blueberry stuff in the thumper, you'll get even more blueberry taste. What's up, big country? You get even more blueberry taste than, uh, you know, it's, it's great. So a single thumper is amazing. And not to mention that you could put alcohol with some fruit in that thumper. Bringing your proof up. You're gonna spread that proof among jars too. You're gonna to get more. You're gonna get more moonshine. <laughs> oh yeah, that's always a good time. 
fucking with people. Uh, but yeah, if for example, like, say you got a mash and you got ten gallons, and you put your ten gallons in your keg, but then you throw a gallon. Say you take a gallon of tails and you put in there, right? It's going to bring your proof up over there. But say you just put like a quart, a quart of some moonshine mixed with some fruit and some fruit juice in your thumper. It's, it's going to come out great. It's going to be so much fucking flavor. Your proof's going to come up. You're going to get more jars. You're going to get more jars out of your, out of your run. Um, and then... After it gets cloudy at about 90, right? About 90 proof, it'll start clouding. That's when you call it tails. But keep collecting. Save those tails. And do it again later on with another mash. Or with that, if, if you want a sour mash, sour mash by all means. You know what I mean? But th that's the way to do it. That's the best way to do it. That's my favorite way to, to make shine. I just did that. I didn't use a thumper today because I'm doing corn. And I just want to straight arm this corn because I want, well, I didn't do this one. I did that one over there. They're both great. So I added uh, three jars, three quarts to, to my keg with my mash. And it brought my proof of my mash up. And they were jars of shit that people normally throw away. They're cloudy. You can't drink tails. I mean, you can, but you definitely want to. Nobody's drinking tails, man, it, that makes this shit. No, it, it, you know, even if you filter it, I mean, some people pass it off. <laughs> That's what shiners do. But for me to you, you don't want to drink your fucking tails. But you still use them. Just like when I ran that pickle jar, I just ran tails in it and ended up getting some clear good liquor back out of tails, redistilling it, you know? So I guess that was two X's. <laughs> but... <clears throat> Thumpers are great. I, I I love. That's why I'm building mine. Uh, Sup, Texas, Jay Brown. Do you stripping runs or just run the match? I just run. I just run. Like I feel I could get good liquor out of the first run. Want to try it? But take it apart to pieces um i don't use it anymore but i did have one i got one out there um i think it's an eight gallon it's an eight gallon still um it has a little i've never used turbo i've planned on it never never have i've never needed to mash over two days three days period for a thumper after this sour mash yeah, thumpers are great when you're doing fruit flavorings. Corn, I, I don't feel the need to have a thumper unless I want to take corn and mix flavor with the corn. You know what I mean? Like, if I'm just doing this, this smells like fucking greatness, dude. I, I've heard mixed things about turbo. The good heads of Hold on. Got some really good heads before with lots of flavors. There shouldn't be that much heads, but I throw my heads out every time. That way I don't end up accidentally drinking them or mixing them in. They're called heads because they give you a fucking headache. <laughs> you don't want them, man. I don't do nothing with them. And if you put heads in... If you redistill heads, it's just becoming heads again. You'll get twice as many heads. Yeah, it's it's like paint thinner, man. It's got a lot of the chemicals in it. It's got the volatile alcohols in it that you don't want in your shit. Let me read that. I don't have a four shots category. Heads and four shots are the same thing to me. Now, I've, I, I did. I did a peanut butter wine, if that counts. That was the only kind of nuts I think I've ever did. 
Yeah, acetone. It has lots of, th lots of crazy shit in it, Ty. How you doing, Ty, by the way? Full of eyes. I've seen a vid where a guy just... Yeah, I mean... That, that don't work for me. Uh, well, four shots are definitely bad. Heads will give you a headache. I throw them both out. There's no two categories for me. There's heads, hearts, and tails. That's it. Heads, hearts, and tails. There's no four shots. Four shots and heads to me are the same thing. I collect them all in one thing, throw it out, rinse the jar out, and then reuse the jar. What you in the hospital for, bro? Yeah, you don't want to drink tails. Oily. Fucking give you the shits. I guess a lot of things give me the shits. I still fuck with it, though. Like draft beer. I'll fuck some draft beer up. You get immune to that after a while. Oh, it's where you work. Well, I, you got to calculate. I, I do say if I'm doing five gallons, uh, the first cheapest way to make a still, get a keg and get some copper. I'll have a video soon of how to do, uh, do it. I've been saying that for two weeks, but shit's been holding me up. I bought this kit from Lions Brewing and uh, off eBay, and it didn't work. And I video documented me fucking soldering this together in great detail. Uh, and I put it together and I run it and it don't work. And it was because the caps were junk. So that held me up for like two weeks. So I was waiting on shit to come in the mail, building shit. But now I got it to where I got most of the video I need. I'll put a how-to video up. You guys could solder your own stills together. If you want to go that route, if you don't want to go that route, you want to buy one, I sell. Right now, I have column and condensers for sale. Um, just don't use... They, they go by like M and F and K. So, you, you don't want to use like... I think drain a sewage pipe or something like that. I go to Menards and they got shit ready to go. I buy 10 foot of it um, and it's good pipe. It's the only 10 foot, two inch pipe they have. Um, I don't know what the gauge is. I could show you the thickness of, of one. Hold on, hold on. I don't know if this is going to help you, but about that thick would be right. <laughs> Let's see, where's the fucking, usually says shit on it. Wolverine, two inch. Two foot, two inch by two, 10 foot, and I cut it and I, Get it good and flat, and I put a fucking a two-inch ferrule on one end. Yeah, dude, Menards is the best place. It's if you got a Menards near you, that's like Christmas morning for somebody doing this shit. There's a. Uh, I mean, I could walk you through it real quick if, if you want to know what to get. millimeters i don't know they only sell one two inch ten foot pipe there so and it's good i've i've used these fucking hundred times i know what you're referring to a lot of people talk on the internet this gauge and that gauge i think mf and k are all good i think even t mf k and t 
or the types. I think all four of those are good for this. Where you going, bro? Oh, no. Get bro. Rural King's my favorite store, but I do love Menards for, for this. Um, I'll walk you through. You, what do you want to build? Uh -oh, Column and condenser? And if you have trouble building it and you're close, just come by. I'll help you. If you want to buy one, I sell them on my website. Um, but here, let me walk you through this real quick. Let me grab. You go play. I'm almost done and I'm coming in. I'll come in and hang out with you. Okay? Who's my man? Me. Okay. Who's your best buddy? Right, bud. I got a mallet. I have a mallet. All right, so here's what you want. Uh, no, I got it sideways. <laughs> I got it. It's not vertical. All right, so you want about a two foot piece of two inch pipe. Bub, go play. And you want to get a copper ferrule, two inch copper ferrule. Um, unless you're fucking awesome at shit, and you, then you could get a stainless one, which I don't fuck with the stainless ones. Yeah, that's right. Or go to a metal yard and go through their boxes. I do that sometimes. So on one end, you want a ferrule, which I'm gonna use this one to look, but you want a copper one. Why? Could you stop for a minute, buddy, please? You wanna get a two inch ferrule, put that on one end. The other end, you wanna to go to your column. The other end, you wanna make it, so you gotta reduce, you know what I mean? But I found these. And I reduce always to half inch. These you cannot find at Menards. Or, and there's one place that has these. And these are like $15, right? But if you go this route, you're going to go reducing and reducing and reducing so many times that you're going to spend $15 on fittings. So you might as well cut the work out for you and go straight. And I haven't used this yet. I, this is new. I haven't even put it on yet. Um, so you redu reduce straight down to half inch, right? And then, let's see. You can either come up one or just come straight over. You know, get a half inch elbow. Make sure you get the right elbow. I don't think that's the right right one um two inch to half inch reducer yes and then you're going to want to come up and over with a 90 degree right and then you're going to want to put a coupling you put one i'd probably come over you know come out cut a piece of half inch have it come out and then put half of a union on there. There's, this is a whole union, comes apart. And whatever half you use, you wanna put the other half on your other part. So let, let me get this, I'll show you. I'll show you mine. You got your ferrule on this end, right? <laughs> Soldered. Up here, this reduces to, uh, I think, one inch. Or is that three quarters? I, I don't fucking know right now. Uh, I'm not good enough at it to tell by looking. But I'm reducing. Got a piece of pipe. Another reducer going to half inch. Half inch elbow. Half inch pipe. Half of a half inch union. This is the nut part of the union, you know? It's that easy. Draw a half inch hole here, half inch female fitting, 
solder it in there buy you one of these thermometers and when i make the video i'll put links to every piece in the links and i'll put the sizing but anymore i'm gonna go straight to half with that new fitting it's 15 bucks i'll put a link to it you can order it you need some attention boy huh i'm coming i'm gonna show them how to build a uh, condenser real quick and then i'm coming in okay okay I'll grab my condenser. Actually, basic condenser. I'm building for a guy right now. I'll grab parts. Oh, shit. Uh, Come on through, Dad. Shit. the Netherlands. What up? So condenser, I'm building this one right now. Half inch hole, half inch hole, right? Get two end caps, right? Put a half inch hole in here. You want to shove a half inch pipe, put another, another, another end cap with a half inch hole here. Shove a half inch pipe through them, solder that. Then put a little half inch pipe here, little half inch pipe here, solder those. So you got your water jacket. Then when you're coming out of one of the ends, one of the nipples, it's gonna look like an AB10. It's gonna look like an Intratech AB10. You good, bud? So you're gonna put a, a elbow on that, come out with a half inch and put uh, the other end of the union on that dude and you, you gotta fuck it still and all you need is a gasket and a tri-clamp two inch tri-clamp but it's a lot easier said than it is you, 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 you know what I mean like you call it out you're like oh yeah 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 it takes a few hours to build one of them motherfuckers I mean Especially if you're one person doing it. You gotta sit there and hold it a certain way. Like if I'm gonna solder this, I'm gonna put this on a table and I'm gonna have it down because the solders wanna suck down. You use gravity, you put flux around here. I'm sure you know how to solder. Most people know how to solder. If you don't, would you stop, dude? What's up, brother? Put this on that table. Is it hot? Yep, it's 400 degrees. It's gonna burn the shit out of you. No! I'm just playing it. Why would it be hot? You see me with a torch? You just set it over there. <laughs> it's cold. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, um, I got a video I'm making. It's gonna go, it's gonna be great detail. I'm starting to sound like Don. In great detail, it's the best, the best way. <laughs> No, none of them's hot, buddy. Oh. Uh. But it, it, it'll be the shit. I feel a lot of people want to tackle that project, and it's it's not a great hard one to tackle. You are going to spend money, but if you're only building one still, you don't have to buy a 10-foot section of 2-inch. Daddy. Dad. What? do you do when the soldering is 100%? Oh, what, buddy? Here soon, can you go to the store and buy some new batteries? You know what, we'll do that as soon as I'm off this live. I'll take you and get batteries, because we need some. I bought some the other day, but Big Easy stole them. Oh, uh, yeah, I already remember that. I still know that. Just I go again, or go me close it. Oh, <clears throat> what I do sometimes is, I'll open it up, clean it up, and then try again. Um, uh, check this out. You can also do this. Hey, how's it going? All right, buddy. Well, let me finish this, and then I'll take you. Go get ready. Go in the house. 
Watch TV or something for, give me three minutes, buddy. Okay. I'm getting ready to shut her down and come. Just let me finish explaining this, all right? Um, okay. I had a piece of copper the other day. <laughs> Hell yeah. And it was glowing green as shit when I was hitting it with a torch. And I was like, and copper or solder would not stick to it. Flux wouldn't stick to it. And I was like, what is up with this? I was on live on uh, TikTok building a stand. And like every other piece was great. Hey, well, so, live, uh, I gotta buddy, tell you something. Stop it. Tell me so I took it apart, cleaned it, tried it again, and I noticed like it's just glowing green. Like there's something up with it. Uh, yeah, message me your address, man. I'll send you some stickers. Uh, so I just took that little piece of copper and was like, Boop got rid of it, grabbed a new one, and it went together no problems. However, sometimes you will make a mistake. A lot of times what I do is I end up putting a, co or putting a solder on the copper before it's ready, before it's hot enough. And in case, you can always go back over and clean it up. Because um, you know a lot of these guys are dogging each other's solder joints. They're like, that's ugly, it's a big old blob. But I usually try and get my solder joints pretty good pretty pretty clean looking um, but it, it's not necessary just make sure that you do a clean and run to clean all that flux out of your still before you use the still to make alcohol or else you'll get a bunch of flux in there and it tastes like ass you definitely don't want no flux or little metal particles in your stuff um, I quench my copper I got a quench jar where I'll so I could just quench it, cool it down into a stick. You don't have to worry about it falling off. I use like a little bucket, put water in it, and I'll just jam that piece in there and it goes, pssst, cools it down. Mix your flux with muriatic acid. Hell yeah. We used to make soft pretzels with muriatic, I think it was muriatic, it was some sort of, I think it was muriatic acid. That's no problem, man. Um, just, I'll have that video out hopefully next week if everything goes right. I just got to finish a couple little pieces. In the video, I'm showing you how to build four types of stills. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Sacrifice run. What's up, brother? So, uh... Kamchaka makes a good sacrifice, too. <laughs> What's that shit? $3 a pint? Helps clean while you're soldering. You, somebody told me to use... Uh, I think it was somebody on here. They said, I use uh, star sand to clean my copper. And we tried that, and it works great. Don't get me wrong, I still do a cleaning run, but when I'm polishing, when I'm polishing the copper, because I'm not gonna polish the copper I sell. You want your shit polished, you do that. You're gonna get a dirty still from me. <laughs> you wanna make it shine. Most people don't even do that. They just run a, they run a, uh, a cleaning run with vinegar, and then they use it, you know? I keep mine sprayed out too. That's something you need to know. Like when you're done running, as soon as you cool down, you want to take your still apart and clean it off. It's going to save you. That's, that's like washing dishes right after you're done cooking as opposed to letting them sit in the sink overnight. I don't braise any of the copper. I just solder it. I know a lot of people on here are like, I use this kind of fittings. I braise. I don't. I, I, I'm good at working with metal. I just ain't never been a, a welder or a brazier or any of that shit. Hell yeah, it, work, it works good, don't it? Hydrogen peroxide, citrus acid. Dad, I can make something. Yeah, it, it does a trick too. But I'll tell you, if you're polishing it, that star sands is better than, because I got citric acid, I got peroxide, I've used salt, I've used lemon juice, I've used everything. But if you want to clean it quick, don't even dilute it. Just put some star sand on there and rub it all over. And then take a little brush, hit it, 
And then take one of them little soap pads, they're like metal, and then you just <laughs> give it a handy and <laughs> she cleans up pretty fucking good, man, I'm telling you. But uh, it's, it's been cool chatting with you guys. You did, buddy. Look at this. Bring it over here. Show everybody. This dude's ready to rock. He's over here building him a, a column, ain't he? <laughs> All right. But it's been nice chatting with you guys. I'm going to take this guy to the Dollar Tree. We're going to get some batteries. Um, I'll post a video of Indian corn later. Uh, if you guys are up, check it out. Thanks for hanging out with me, man. You guys are the best. We'll see you later.